Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Reconnect24 on the Wii U's Virtual Wii or VWii. So yeah, let's get right into this. So first, what you want to do, I will leave a link to this in the description. But what you want to do first is run the latest version of the Reconnect24 patcher, if I could find it. There it is. Okay, hold on. I need to move the microphone over here so I can put the keyboard in the right place. Okay. So, first, so first what we want to do is press 1 to start the patcher. And since we're doing the we use virtual Wii or VWii, we want to do option option two and then you'll have plenty of options you have one that's install reconnect 24 on your Wii U and that's what we want to do all these other patches we're not going we're not going to be going through those today so we want to press for one and press enter um, and then you have two options choose installation type express recommended this will patch Every channel for later for later use on the Wii U. This includes news channel, everybody votes channel, the Nintendo channel, and the check me out slash me contest channel. And if you press two for custom, you can pretty much like change any of the channels you don't want to install. And also, you're probably wondering where's the forecast channel. Well, according to the Wii Doc Guide page for Reconnect 24 on the Wii U, it says the forecast channel is not working because of the four zero zero. Four zero 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 six error because of the Wii U's timestamp. So I want to install all the channels, so I'm just going to go one for Express. And then it'll say for News Channel, Everybody Votes Channel, Check Me Out, Slash Me Contest Channel, and Nintendo Channel, which region should you download? I live in the USA, so I'm going to press two for the USA, and if you live in Europe, you'll just press one for Europe. And then, and then it will say, Did I forget about something? Yes, to make patching even easier. I can download everything that I need and put it on your SD card. Please connect your Wii USD card to your computer. I already have it connected. Um, and yes, it will say, Congrats, I have successfully detected your SD card. Drive letter, G. I will be able to automatically download and install everything on your SD card. Everything is ready. Um, and letter G is my SDHC card. Um, and I'm ready to start patching, so I'm going to press 1. And then we'll just wait. And you can look at the fun facts here. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So now, so now we'll say, on your screen there should be a Wii U's IP address. Enter it below. Type in stop if you're unable to do that. I don't, um, don't want to patch the file for, um, I don't want to patch the aspect ratio for now, so I'm going to type in stop. Um. And then it'll say return to, and then it'll say one to return to the main menu, two to close the patcher, or three to close the patcher and clean up all temporary data created by the patcher. I'm gonna press three because I want to do that. Have fun using Reconnect 24, and you don't have to worry about the closing patcher time. So I already had Reconnect 24 installed on my Wii U, but like before I started doing this tutorial, I uninstalled all the Reconnect24 channels. Um, um, and I also created, um, and I also deleted the excess WAD folders, um, WAD files from the WAD folder. Um, and then you'll see, see look, I, I deleted the iOS, the news channel, the Nintendo channel, and the Check Me Out channel, and looked back because they were created by the patcher. So now we can move to the Wii U. So I'm gonna eject my SD card. And, um, and by pressing the eject button on the SD card, this will make sure that all the files are properly locked on the card to prevent possible file corruption in the future. So I will be right back. I would um, I need to um, I need to switch to the capture card, and and I want. Hold on, what <laughs> what am I even saying? Um, I'm stuttering, but like, so I'm gonna 
I'm going to remove the SD card, put it back into my Wii U, and use my HDMI switch to switch to the capture card. But first, I need to, like, configure the capture card. Activate. And I do that, I need to remove this. And I know you're, you're just seeing colored bar right now. That's because my HDMI switch is still set to the TV, not the capture card. So, I, so you will see an actual picture in just a second. See, there it is, now I see the actual picture. Um, um, and it's dark because I never like flicked the Wii U gamepad to actually like, um, um, to like turn the screen back on, so I will do that right now. See, there we go, now I see actual pic, um, like actual like light picture. So now, um, so now we're gonna boot into the homebrew channel. Okay, so now we're gonna boot and now we're gonna boot into the homebrew channel. Hold on, um, I need to reach. I need to reach my TV with the sensor bar. So hold on. Okay, there we go. Now we're booting into the homebrew channel. And now what you want to do. Um, first, um, first want to first want to launch Connect Me to actually enable these flags. Oh, I'm sorry if you heard a YouTube video in the background. I forgot to pause the video while I was watching, um, or doing the tutorial. So now I want to launch We Mod Light. This is to properly install the WAV file correctly. Um, and it's going to apply the patches. And now we, um, and we need to pick the WAD manager option and press source device Wii SD slot, or in this case, Wii USD slot, and yeah, press OK. Um, um, and now we're going to install these channels one by one. So first we're going to start with the Check Me Out channel. Wait for it to install. This is really slow. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to install the Everybody Votes channel. And we can install the WAD. Wad install. <laughs> okay, and then now we're gonna install iOS 31 for the Wii U. We shall wait for it to install. Okay, and now we're gonna install the news channel. Install Wad. Content number 16, yeah. Hold on, I just need to make sure it's something first. Okay. Okay, now we're going to install the Nintendo channel.
and now we can exit to the homebrew channel. And we are pretty much done installing Reconnect 24 on our Wii U. So now we can exit the system menu. There we go. And now we're pretty much done. And you can see now we have the news channel, the Nintendo channel, the Everybody Votes channel, and the Check Me Out channel all on our system menu. And um, and you saw I did not have that installed before. So yeah, so we pretty much installed Reconnect 24 on our, um, on our Wii U. Like for example, let's go into the Everybody Votes channel. If I can reach the sensor bar. There we go. Reach the sensor bar because my TV is all the way to the other side of me. There we go. Um, um, it says it says you can enter the Wii U's IP address for it to actually like launch the file. Um, or pass the file. It's only like a four by three. So it would say, would you like to register more voters? I'm gonna press no. And I'm gonna receive the data. There you go. channel and the news channel now let's launch the news channel yes the date and time is correct Take some time to download. And, and might as well not be bored and click this cat for some tips. Okay. Load, please. If for some reason, it only takes this long on the Wii U. And actually, also, don't, the only downs, the only downside of the news channel is that. I mean that the last updated timestamps will be incorrect and the banner data won't work. And it, and if you're unsure about banner data, that's pretty that pretty much what makes the news show up on the channel's banner and the Wii menu. See look. And this is the latest news too. COVID COVID nineteen stinks. Yeah. Oh, and, and it actually stinks for all Okay. So yeah, that's how you install Reconnect 24 on your Wii U's Wii Wii or Wii mode. 
See, look. See, look. Um, the, the news didn't show up here, and it and it also doesn't show up here. Yeah, it says unable to obtain. So, that's how you install Reconnect 24 on the Wii U's V Wii or Wii mode. So, hold on. See y'all next time. Goodbye.